In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do creative edits to your photos using Photoshop Actions. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJam and as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using a Photoshop Action to level up our photos so that we can stand out from among the rest. And the action that we're going to be using today is one that we got from Envato Elements. Now, Envato Elements is the sponsor of today's video, but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on in the video. So without any further delays, let's go ahead and jump straight into Photoshop. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and this is the file that I got from Envato Elements. They actually gave me a Photoshop file for this action. And if we look over here in the layers, you'll see that it says you should delete this first layer, right? So let me just go ahead and click that and hit delete. And then you'll see that it says your image here. And that layer that says that is down here at the bottom, right? And it's a smart object layer. So if I were to go ahead and just double click on it right here you'll see it will, it will open this other window here where i can paste my image in this window right i can drag it in here so i can drag it or i can go to file and then hit place embedded right so let's just go ahead and drag them in because i know the images that i want to use i want to use these two so let me go ahead and drag them in and Let's just use this black and white outfit one first. And before I do anything else, because we're operating within this smart object layer, everything I do here, I'm going to have to save it by hitting Ctrl and S, right? So let me go ahead and save this. And it's loading, it's loading. And then if I go back to my original project window, you will see that the image got changed, right? Remember earlier it said your image here. Now this is what we have here and What's cool about this Anaglyph Photoshop action, which is what I really love, is that it gives you all of these actions as folders, right? So all you have to do is turn it on, right? That's all you have to do. Literally just turn it on and then you will see the effects of the action, right? Let me zoom in some more. All you have to do is turn it on, turn on the layers and you'll see like each of them have different um, effects. So from one to 11 gives you a different effect. And then you'll see two layers here, one here and one here that says anaglyph top and bottom. And if you turn that on, it will give you that little red and blue effect, right? See that? See that how cool is that? And that's all you have to do, right? If And if I want, what I can do is go back here and just really center her or I can use the other image, right? Well, let's just center her in the image. Let's just expand the photo by using Ctrl and T for our transform options. And then let's put her in the middle or as best as we can centered. Ctrl and S to save our changes. Then we can go back to our main image and then let's, let's turn on some more of the effects. Let's look at one, one is cool. Let's try six. And let's try it, right? That looks pretty cool. I mean, we have a lot more, as you can see, obviously, that like these. And let me turn on the anaglyph top and see what it does. That's pretty cool, right? That is pretty cool. Let me see the anaglyph bottom. It's just a little less than the top. And that's literally all that I have to do, right? Let's go ahead and test it out with the other image. All I'm going to do is just turn off this one. Let's just zoom out and hit Ctrl and T on this image layer and then size her up so she's centered to about there. Ctrl and S to save that. And then let's go back in our main file and look at that. The same layers are on, the same effects are on, right? And all that happened just now is the image changed, right? I can turn on some of the anaglyphs here and I like how this looks. What do you guys think? Quick, simple and effective. You can really step up and add a nice creative flair to your photos if you took them or to a photo that you can use 
in a poster because for example you can use this if you're making like a party flyer or something of the sorts and you just want to really give your event flyer a nice creative twist right so that's all you really have to do to level up this image from its original state to this cool awesome creative vibe now we could not have done this without this photoshop action from envato elements and remember i mentioned earlier that this video is sponsored by envato elements well i use envato elements every single day whether it's in my client work or just my personal video production and the graphic design work for my youtube channel and the envato elements is a super cool creative asset website that you need to be using for your projects. Photoshop add-ons, they have them. Stock video footage, they have it. Graphic templates for your graphic designing, they most certainly have it. And it gets better. Invata Elements wants to offer you guys 70% off a month's subscription from their website. And that's not just any regular subscription. You get to download unlimited assets, unlimited assets from their website. All you have to do is hit the first link in this video's description to grab the discount and to get unlimited downloads. So have you ever used Photoshop Actions before and what did you think about the action that we used here today? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and a special thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video.